What is going on guys, it's Bond here and I'm here on GTA 5 with the new Lord Rider DLC and I thought I'd make an informative video about how to make the most of your car, well your Lord Rider basically, how to bounce it the most. So if you already know that if you bought your Lord Rider, it'll, you, it's a shit ton to fucking spend and to actually do the hydraulics, uh, you'll get four different setups. So. At the you'll, when you upgrade it, as you can see, these are quite expensive. Uh, and if you want to make the most out of doing the hydraulics and making it bounce the most, you want to buy the 250 grand one. And I'm going to get right into the steps here. How to make your car bounce the most you can. And I'm here with my faction Grand National, Boot Grand National. So, first of all, if you didn't know, it's you hold X, right? Okay, so I'm going to go into the lower right down at the bottom here. And what you do is you hold X and it goes and lifts the car with hydraulics. Now, if you want to make that bounce, okay, so you, you want to go at the top here. You want to lift it. You want to hold X. And then as soon as it, as soon as you see the tires camber, negative, give the negative camber like that. You want to, as soon as, so there. That's how, that's how you normally bounce all the whole, all four wheels. And I'm going to get into the steps of how to do the front, backs, and sides right now. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to lift it into this mode. You want to hold X or A, whatever you're on. And you want to sort of bounce with the left thumbstick. So right now I'm pushing up as the momentum, as it hits down with the wheels. And you just want to keep bouncing. And you, as soon as you see the wheels hit on the floor, you basically just hit up. Now this will damage your car and low riders are quite expensive to fix. So... Just keep that in mind as well, it is an expensive car to sort of keep. So as you can see, we're getting the, probably the max amount of air. Uh, you could probably get a bit more than that. So let's go on to the back here. The back probably does much, much more. You could actually drive while doing this, which is actually really cool. Uh, so if you were to hold A or X, you were to just push down. Look, and you just literally bounce down the road like a absolute gangster. Look at that. You could also do the sides. So if you wanted to, maybe you could probably even flip the car like this. So if you, I'm pushing the left on the thumbstick now. This is very difficult to do. I'm not saying it's easy or anything. I'm not saying I'm a professional at fucking bouncing a car. You know, by using hydraulics. There, we nearly fl fucking flipped it there. And you could do the other side, obviously. And with the hydraulics, you could uh, do some crazy things like... Um, I've jumped over fucking cars with it. Um... A, like not not AI cars as well. You can jump over players' cars. You can literally just have so much fun with it. But you know, it is a lot of money to spend on a DLC. So I hope you guys got a little insight of how to make the most out of your lowrider, of how to bounce your car with the lowriders that you can buy and do up. Make sure you drop a like if you want to see more uh, GTA 5 lowrider videos of how to you know make the most out of the DLC. And as always, thanks for watching. It's been Bond. Peace.